I don't expect anybody in this body to not have some kind of political or other bias. But the American people and I expect that unfair bias be done away with. And that's exactly why you have the rules of the House. The rules of the House are meant to protect the minority. You don't have to protect the majority. They've got the votes. They can do anything they want. That was a fired up Arizona Republican Congressman Andy Biggs a short time ago slamming what he is calling the secrecy behind the House impeachment inquiry. Joining us now once again, hung out with us. Thank you for that. Syndicated columnist DeRoy Murdoch, also a Fox News contributor. All right, DeRoy, we just heard from the president as well on a variety of issues, um, but he did say uh, in those words in the Oval Office just now, Schiff does not want to talk about the whistleblower. No quid pro quo. There's nothing wrong with seeking out corruption. Went back to the phone calls, that it was a perfect phone call. Where does all of this go next? I think it uh, will continue, I suppose, with Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats uh, c contain, uh, continuing this secret uh, uh, inquest. I mean, uh, not only are uh, the president's lawyers kept out of, the, out of the room, the American people are kept out of the room. Uh, if we are going to go through the process of removing the president of the United States, who was elected in November of 2016, uh, all of us and people who voted for him and against him ought to be able to see what's happening. To have this going on behind closed doors without uh, the media, without any, any uh, representation to get this information out, I think it's just absolutely appalling. We just heard from Andy Beggs, chairman of the House, uh, conservative House Freedom Caucus. He's leading this push uh, for the rebuke of Adam Schiff. Do they get anywhere with this, Republicans? Uh, I think they should have a vote. I don't know if Nancy Pelosi will, will allow it. I assume, assume the Democrats will vote to support uh, Schiff and not censure him. But uh, remember what he did is that at, at the opening of this uh, hearing of the Intelligence Committee, uh, he read this, uh, this statement, supposedly Trump's words, and I'm quoting from this, I want you to make up dirt on my political opponent, understand, lots of dirt on this and that, and don't call me again. I'll call you when you've done what I, what I asked. He sounds like a mafia don. Guess what? Trump didn't say any of that. He didn't say any of these things. Uh, Schiff basically made that up right at the beginning of this hearing. And then when he got caught, he said, oh, it's a parody, as if this were some kind of a comedy routine. There's nothing funny about this. This was totally inappropriate. Uh, he just should have read the transcript as it was written. I think that would have been uh, whatever evidence he wants to present and put his own interpretation on it. But to sit there and invent these incredibly damning words about the president of the United States that he didn't say is totally inappropriate, and he ought to be censured for it. But still, Nancy Pelosi says that it's not required. There will be no vote. At least for now. Well, as I was saying before, that uh, what she's trying to do is protect these 31 Democrats who were elected in uh, districts that Donald Trump won in 2016. I think she fears, rightly, that if they vote for impeachment, that they're going to be in trouble, that uh, Republicans and maybe even moderate uh, Democrats and independents are going to vote them out, out of office, and then she suddenly will find herself as minority leader rather than speaker. Uh, which is shameful. This should be based on justice and doing the right thing in, in, in this process and fairness. It shouldn't be based on uh, trying to maintain political control. The president, uh, a few moments ago, Schiff got caught making up statements. We'll see what happens. Then he pointed to the IG report coming out soon, said the president. Uh, we have heard that that could possibly be Friday, but we've heard a variety of days leading up to this, but we've been hearing it's potentially been, it is. Yeah, we've been hearing this has been coming out for months. I hope it comes out Friday. Uh, there are a lot of serious questions about how the Russiagate thing started. Was this thing started on, on a, a legitimate basis, or was this thing a fraud from the beginning? Uh, so the inspector general has a lot to, uh, to tell us. I hope it comes out Friday, but we've heard for months it's been coming out. So it always seems to disappear into an ever-receding horizon. Did we mention a lot has changed in the last few hours? We a appreciate lot does. you staying with does. us. Deroy Murdoch, thank you. Great to see you.